strenuous exercise regimens, strict dietary requirements, and years worth of practice. A gymnast's life is far more than a few twisties in the air. While some people may have a way with high beams, most require years worth of practice to become the athletes that they are today. Even then, gymnasts see bad days. From Yang Bo's inconsistent performance to how Adrian Naesti lost consciousness for a moment, we'll be going through some of the worst gymnastic landings of all time. Yang Bo's inconsistent performance at the 1989 Worlds. Widely regarded as one of the best gymnasts on the balance beam, Yang Bo is a Chinese gymnast whose name has become synonymous with gymnastics. Seriously, the female athlete has an entire move named after her. While Bo has been renowned as being perhaps the greatest gymnast of all time, critics have pointed out several inconsistencies in her performance throughout her career. Bo competed in the 1989 World Championships in Stuttgart, where she placed fifth in the competition. Her routine was nothing short of a fairy tale. Bo was winning the crowd over with her agility, artistic movement, and her flexibility. However, her overall performance had flaws. Judges noticed how Bo under-rotated for some of her performances on the balance beam, while others would be flawless. Tim Daggett demolishing his leg at the 1987 Worlds Tim Daggett is a former American gymnast and Olympic athlete who made history when he landed his team gold at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. Daggett is often cited as one of the United States' best male gymnasts. After all, the man paved the way for the country's men's gymnastics team to take home gold. But Daggett's career as a gymnast came at the disapproval of his physicians. The former gymnast had been told by doctors that his ankles weren't made for gymnastics and all that the sport asked from them. Daggett continued to ignore his doctor's advice, even going as far as dislocating his ankle shortly after having the other one rebuilt. Daggett continued to do what he knew best, but it came to a head at the 1987 Worlds at Rotterdam when he had an unfortunate landing that shattered bones in his left leg. Leg. Commentator Hardy Fink remarked that Daggett had managed to demolish his leg, which ultimately proved to be true. The gymnast would only go on to compete once more in 1988 at the U.S. Nationals, where he had to withdraw due to injury. Irina Krasniewska's balance beam event at the 2006 Aarhus World Championships Irina Krasniewska managed to take home gold at the 2006 World Championships at Aarhus, Denmark. However, judges deliberated for a good 10 minutes before declaring that the Ukrainian gymnast had scored scored first place. Why? Krasniewska's performance might have been better than the rest, but she tumbled on the balance beam while making a rotation. Her overall performance was remarked as being commendable, but it was far from flawless. Maybe the judges were being a bit too hard on Krasniewska, considering how well reputed the gymnast is for her skill on the high beam, balance beam, and uneven bars. Nevertheless, after 10 minutes, the judges returned with a 15.575 score for Krasniewska, ultimately earning her gold at the 2006 Aarhus World Championships. Samir Ait Saeed injuring his leg at the 2016 Olympic Games at Rio. Samir Ait Saeed's injury during the 2016 Olympic Games at Rio as he landed his vault is regarded as one of the worst injuries in modern Olympic Games history. The French gymnast had been competing as an elite artistic gymnast since 2013 and had won three medals up until the event in 2016. During the qualification phase, Ait Saeed suffered a double compound fracture while landing during his vault. The sound his leg made as it crushed downwards was ominous. The crowd was silent as medics rushed to the gymnast's aid. Ait Saeed's leg was shattered in several places. The athlete had to drop out from the Rio Olympic Games on account of the injury, and the French national team had to ultimately disqualify for the games entirely. But where Ait Saeed's story is one of just how bad a gymnast can distort their body in ways unimaginable, it's also of their endurance. Ait Saeed made a full recovery and was the French flag bearer for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. Bridget Sloan misses the land at the 2016 NCAAs. Bridget Sloan is one of the United States' most decorated gymnasts. The female artistic gymnast is the 2009 world champion in the all-around gymnastics category, a silver medalist at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, and the 2009 United States national champion. Sloan was a member of the University of Florida's national gymnastics team from 2012 to 2016. During one particular event held in 2016 at the NCAAs against UCLA, Sloan made a less than impeccable landing on the bars. Granted, we're not one to tell a decorated gymnast how to perform her routine, but Sloan didn't stick her landing. She more so wobbled back into place. For her routine, Sloan earned a 9.975 and won the all-around, plus uneven bars and balance beam titles. Bridget Sloan's 2016 appearance at the NCAA held in Florida was also her last championship appearance. Julissa Dian Gomez left quadriplegic in 1988 at the World Sports Fair. Definitely one of the most devastating events to have ever occurred in the world of gymnastics was the tragic accident and untimely death of
of Ulisa Gomez. Gomez was an American gymnast who was considered by critics and commentators as perhaps the next big name in the world of gymnastics. Her career was unfortunately cut short after a tragic vaulting accident left her quadriplegic. Gomez had traveled with her team to Japan several months before the 1988 Olympics. During practice rounds at the World Sports Fair, past coaches and fellow gymnasts remarked how Gomez's performance seemed shaky and unstable. In the athlete's defense, she was performing a routine on the extremely difficult Yershenko vault. Despite many professionals advising Gomez against going through with her routine, her coaches insisted on it. Ulisa Gomez didn't even make it to the Olympic event itself. While practicing her routine, the athlete slipped on the springboard and landed face first at a high speed into the vault. Gomez was immediately paralyzed from the neck down. The entire ordeal went from sad to tragic and eventually becoming straight up miserable. An incident occurred at the Japanese National Hospital where Gomez was found disconnected from her ventilator for several hours, resulting in permanent brain damage and an untimely coma. Gomez's family cared for the former female athlete for three years before she succumbed to an infection and died in August of 1991 at the age of 18. Adriana Duffy breaks her neck preparing for the World Championships in 1989. Puerto Rican gymnast Adriana Duffy was left paralyzed after miscalculating a step during her routine while practicing for the World Championships in 1989. The female gymnast was set to perform for the first time at the World Championships at the ripe young age of 18. Duffy missed the landing during a practice run and was left with several broken bones, including a broken neck. The latter resulted in permanent paralysis from the neck down. Duffy was transported to the United States, where the gymnast received treatment for her injuries. While her career as an Olympic gymnast was cut short, Duffy went on to earn a degree from Stanford and graduated from Yale Law School. Currently, the once shining star for gymnastics is practicing as a legal attorney at one of San Francisco's biggest law firms. Jessica Gill Ortiz injured during a floor exercise in London. Gymnasts prove a testament to just how flexible your body can be, whether they stick the landing or miss it completely. Images circulated soon after Jessica Ortiz suffered a damaging injury while practicing her floor exercise in London in 2009. To say that the images were haunting would be an understatement. The young 19-year-old gymnast had been preparing for the World Championships and was mastering her already difficult floor exercise when she banged her head at a devastating angle. Ortiz was attempting to finish off a high-flying tumble sequence with a double front flip. The gymnast lost her footing, fell backwards, and landed with her neck bent in ways we didn't know was possible from the 1.5 meter high beam. Luckily, Ortiz made a full recovery and was seen at the 2012 Summer Olympics held in London. Adrian Niesti losing consciousness at the 2002 Sydney Olympics. Imagine seeing a gymnast lie motionless for what would seem like an eternity after they miss a landing. From experiences where the best possible scenario is a broken bone and the worst is death, Adriana Niesti's fin friends and family were terrified when the gymnast lost consciousness after she landed face first from the high beams. The Hungarian gymnast suffered one of gymnastics' nastiest falls. Paramedics rushed to her aid, and luckily enough, Niesti managed to stand on her own after a few minutes. Her fall at the 2000 Summer Olympics would be her last public appearance as a gymnast. From low scores to broken bones, gymnasts bear the brunt of nasty falls in perhaps one of the most enduring athletic events. We've gone through some of the worst gymnastics landings of all time. Who do we miss? Who'd you like to know more about? And how'd you like the video? Thanks for watching!